night in Tidmouth sheds. Thomas, Percy and James told the other engines about Stephen. What did he look like again? He had wood round his boiler and a crooked funnel. And he looked like he'd been left in a scrapyard for a long time, too. He's an old design, older than any engine I've ever seen. I'd like to see him for myself. So would I. The next morning, Henry was still having trouble with his safety valve. Oh, I can't build up any steam. Don't worry, Henry. I'll shunt you to the steamworks. Victor will have you fixed up in no time. Emily was very happy to take Henry to the steamworks. She wanted to see the old-fashioned engine. But when she arrived, she couldn't see any engines at all. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Emily was very happy to take Henry to the steamworks. She wanted to see the old-fashioned engine. But when she arrived, she couldn't see any engines at all. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Oh, up here! <laughs> And this is Henry. I'm Stephen. Pleased to meet you. What are you doing up there? They're turning me into an aeroplane. Really? No. They want to examine my undercarriage. And they're repairing my wheels, too. Emily wasn't the only engine who wanted to see Stephen. Fizzling fireboxes. What brings you all here? Do you all need repairs? Um, uh, well, that is... I came here to bring Henry, Victor. He needs his safety valve mended. Well, <coughs> I was coughing soot from my funnel the other day. My brakes feel a bit sticky, but uh, actually... Well... <coughs> I was coughing soot from my funnel the other day. My brakes feel a bit sticky, but uh, actually, we all just came to see Stephen, Victor. So, so did we! we. <laughs> did you really all come to see me? Yes, Stephen. We've never seen an engine like you before. Are you really very, very old? Stephen is one of the first steamies ever built. Victor's right. I've been around a long time. I wasn't always this rusty either. I remember when most railways didn't have any engines and the trains were pulled by horses. We steam engines were the latest thing and people were worried about us. <laughs> we didn't always work right. All at all. We were brand new and experimental, but we soon proved we were stronger and faster than horses. And I was lightning fast. They called me the Rocket. We used to have races. People would line the track to watch. I went to work at the mines and later at the docks. My pistons were pumping! I could pull four wagons at one time! <laughs> oh, but engines have changed a little since then. You new engines are so fast and so strong! <laughs> That's why I don't work anymore! <laughs> Did you ever see knights in shining armor? No! I may be old, but I'm not that old! <laughs> and before you ask, I never saw dinosaurs either! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't feel bad. What's your name? I'm Percy. Don't feel bad, Percy. Asking questions is always a good way to learn new things. Soon, Stephen looked shiny and new. His funnel was straightened. His boiler had been fixed, and he'd been given his old tender, a whistle, and a fresh coat of paint. 
Now you look really useful again. <clears throat> I was wondering where you all were. I have a railway to run, and you all have work to do. Wait, Percy! Thomas and James, too! The Earl of Sodor asked me if you could help him with a special job. I don't know what he's up to, but he's an old friend. I want to help him in any way I can. Thank you, sir. We'll do our best. Thomas and his friends were very excited, but Stephen looked a little sad. You're so lucky, Thomas. Being useful is very important. Come on, Thomas. We should go. And then an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Maybe I should tell Stephen that the Earl has a job for him. I don't think that's such a good idea, Thomas. The Earl said not to tell him yet, but he looks so sad. I have to tell him just to cheer him up. James and Percy wondered if Thomas was doing the right thing. <laughs> but Stephen just laughed. Are you sure about that, Thomas? I'm an antique. Then why would the Earl send you to the steamworks to be repaired? I don't know, Thomas, but I've seen people do all sorts of things that don't make any sense. Or maybe he wants to make tea in my boiler. <laughs> <laughs> no! He has a proper job for you. Does he? Yes! You'll see, Stephen. The Earl of Sodor is full of surprises. Percy, Thomas, and James climbed up the steep track to the estate. The castle looked very different now that it was being restored. 